here would be a quick example. Um, I was in Ohio talking to a principal, right? So she's a principal for a, uh, I want to say a high school. I think it, that's what it was. Principal for a high school. She's got 10 years of experience total. This is a 50 or 51 year old woman, I believe. Okay. She's got 10 years worth of experience as an assistant and principal. She wants to create more income. She loves what she does. Absolutely loves it. She wants to figure out how to create more income. Most people, financial advisors, financial coaches, consultants, um, YouTubers and influencers will say, okay, take what little money you do have and put it in real estate, right? Take what little money you do have and go buy some crypto. Take what little money you do have and go invest in the stock market or Forex or dot, 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 right? Or a syndication fund or a mutual fund or bond or a CD. I mean, it's always something outside of themselves versus what Alex and I are saying or what I uh, uh, encouraged her was, what if you took this 10 years of experience, got on social media, created a few different channels, maybe the Insta, maybe the Tiki Taki, and maybe the YouTube, maybe, or the LinkedIn, all free, cost you nothing. You have 10 years of experience knowing what you do. So it's a walk in the park to explain the who, the what, the where, the when, the why, and the how of being a principal. And then I told, I began to tell the lady, well, what, what if there are aspiring principals across the United States, people who want to become principals, assistant principals, what if you could create content catered to them, strategies, develop a course, okay, consult, coach, this is all within you, within her, right? So opportunity one, opportunity two, opportunity three, creating content, content produces this word, monetization, where I can be receiving little dollars, which can become big dollars over time, which then leads to sponsorships, collabs, um, brand deals, and speaking engagements. All of which can very quickly, we're talking quickly and realistically, can produce six figures. You mean to tell me that if I go on internet right now to try to find a social media influencer who's a principal, I guarantee you, you're not gonna find them. You know why? Because they don't exist. There's nobody doing this right now in the marketplace. It's a blue ocean strategy for this woman. I said, do you know that the Board of Education of Ohio, let's say, finds you, certain people find you, they ask you to speak and they pay you thousands of dollars to speak to maybe 30, 50 principals of a, a district, a region within Ohio. They might send you to Washington to be a part of um, education policy for how we train principals to be better leaders to teach the next generation. Oh my goodness, where, am I going somewhere with this? Right? Comment if you're like, yeah, this is this is real stuff. This isn't like go buy a XRP and hope and pray. This isn't go buy you know Apple stock and hope and pray. I I have nothing against those investments. They're wonderful. It's just which comes first, right? Which comes first, your gifts or someone else's? Do I feed someone else's gifts or do I first feed the seed that I've been given by my creator, plant it, water it, grow it, watch it produce something and then go give it, right? Give and sell in the marketplace, get paid abundantly. And then what you receive from that seed multiplied so much that you no longer have to spend the initial seed. I think that's a lot of people's problems today is you're taking what little you do have and you're spending the seed before you can let it multiply. So you have to go back into the marketplace, exchange your time to receive another seed, let's say money. So you have to keep trading your time for more money. All your work energy output is going to someone else's seed instead of yours. And so not to get you know all preachy here, but just from logically speaking, it does not make sense for me to sell my seed initially until it has produced a tree, right? A fruit. It does not make sense. Logically, it does not make sense. I must multiply it first. Then I can pick from the fruit, sell it, give it a multitude of things. The tree is built. It's going to keep reproducing over and over again.